Hello and welcome to Saw Tech. So in today's video, we will talk about the IP config command and all the things you can do with it. This is a fantastic information gathering tool and often a first step in network troubleshooting. Now what IP config does is it displays the IP address, the subnet mask and the default gateway for all network adapters. Okay, but that is not all that it does. There's other things that it is able to do. So let's uh, start with typing in the IP config command. So that's IP config and press enter. So if you look on the top here, you see that it says Ethernet adapter local area connection. Now this is your local Ethernet adapter, meaning this is the NIC card, the network interface card that is attached on the back of your PC into which you plug in your Ethernet cable. So uh, pertaining to that Ethernet adapter, you get your information right here. So the IP address of your computer is 192.168.1.6. The subnet mask you're using is 255.255.255.0. And the default gateway, which is your router, is 192.168.1.1. And remember, this is pertaining to the Ethernet adapter that is on the back of your PC into which you connect your Ethernet cable, the RJ45 cable. Alrighty, so from here as you can see you get the IP address, the subnet mask and the default gateway. Now that is not all the information you can get. You can get much more than this. What you want to do is, let's type in CLS to clear the screen and type in IP config one more time and this time I'm going to type in slash slash all. This is called a parameter. So anytime you put a slash and you put something after it, that's a parameter. So when we add the all parameter and press enter, we get much more information. So the first thing, let's go down here and look at the Ethernet adapter local area connection. Now let's go from uh, top to bottom really quick. Over here it says the description. So it tells you what kind of adapter you have on the back of your PC. It gives the make and the model. So you have an Intel 825-790 gigabit network connection. So just by looking at this, you now know that you have a gigabit network adapter on the back of your PC. You get the physical address, which is the MAC address of your adapter. So this is the MAC address of your adapter, also known as the physical address. You can see that the DHCP is enabled, so you are set to get IP addresses automatically. And if you look down here, it says your IP address, which we already saw. You again get your subnet mask. And then if you look over here, you see your DHCP server, which is 192.168.1.1, which is the same as your router. That means your DHCP is configured inside your router. And if you look down here, it says the DNS server is also 192.168.1.1. So what does that mean? That means your DNS server is also configured on your router router. So basically IP config is a perfect information gathering tool which gives you information regarding your local network. Like like we just saw, we got the router address, we got the DHCP server address and we've got the DNS IP address and we know where they are. So if we have to make a change, we would go right into the router to play with the settings. Now there's also some other things you can do with the IP config command. So let's clear the screen and type in IP config and then the next parameter that I want to talk about is you can actually release your IP address. Okay, So this is one of the networking troubleshooting uh, techniques a lot of people use just to renew and refresh their IP address. So if you type this in and you press enter your IP address gets released so you cannot go online anymore okay so let's uh, take that out and as you can see under the Ethernet adapter local area connection you've got nothing going on alrighty so it's empty and it's empty now if you want to get back another address you type in IP config slash renew this is going to renew your IP address just remember this is going to ask the DHCP server uh, to send it a brand new address so if you type in renew takes a couple seconds and you get a brand new configuration 
Alrighty. So remember, release and renew will refresh your IP address. And uh, just one more thing I want to take a look at, and then we can end this conversation. IP config slash all. Now, the other thing you want to look at is when you get the IP address from a DHCP server, you actually get to lease the IP address. So you basically rent the IP address for, for a couple days. It could be a day. Depends how you configured your DHCP server. So if you look over here, it says lease obtained. Friday, May 9th, 2014 at 6 12 p.m. And the lease expires Saturday, May 10th, 2014, uh, 6 12 p.m. So I got I just got my I just renewed my IP address. So that means I'm gonna have it for an entire day before DHCP takes that away and gives me another one automatically okay and you can change the lease time in your DHCP server settings in my case I have to go to my router to get that done but as you can see uh, IP config is only good for renewing and releasing IP addresses but on top of that you can get a lot of information regarding your network your local adapter so the basic idea behind IP config is to find out as much information as you can before you start to fix your network. All right, so that brings us to the end of this discussion. Make sure you watch my networking playlist for which I will leave a link in the description below that is going to go over other commands such as the ping command, the NS lookup command, and the trace RT command in detail. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.